He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Son, that rep ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? Now you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass! Knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Yeah, easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. 
Now go get him, kid! So we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the sensational Cuban Joel Savone. You know, I heard a lot of experts ringside talking about the lack of experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion, and you have to wonder and ask yourself, will the nerves of Andre Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled against such a worthy opponent? Halfway through round number one. Now he places that hook right to the body. Good combination to the head. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? Bishop's once again the target of a hook. A good block. Good smooth work by Andre Bishop. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Watch that! Joel Savone's on the receiving end of a very good counterpunch. something for him himself and it's a left hand so many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out no way not these guys straight to action well if they can keep this up they're both gonna have headaches but we're gonna have a special one on our hands back and forth they go each man getting the best of it Good exchange, he fires back. And we come to the end of the round. Chair, then right, okay? How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up, keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good, I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around, keep your hand, let's go. You breathe, breathe, breathe through your lungs. Very good, very good. You look very good. That's it. Just like training, okay? Focus. Stay away from that power. Start of a new round. Savone's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Joel Savone's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Goes to the gut with a right hand. Scored well with that straight left. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Bishop's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Joel Savone is able to land a good, solid left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And that's the end of round two. Breathe now. Deep breath. Deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. 
Nice work. Nice work. Listen, Andre, you're not working. You're not doubling up your chin. Okay, breathe in. Take a deep breath. It's a great job that round. You're doing well. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. Stop looking for the big shot, Andre. You need to start landing some shots here. Deep breath. Water. Deep breath. Listen, Andre. No, no, throw them in there. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. He snaps a jab. Goes up top with the right hand. Andre Bishop will need to do more of that. Bishop is very conscious of the fact that he does not want to get tagged hard. He blocked well there. Good, solid right hand by Andre Bishop. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Andre Bishop's right hand scores well that time. I think Joel Savone may be as shocked as the rest of us. Andre Bishop is scoring often. Well, the nine-time gold medalist Joel Savone has not been in a position like this often. Let's Andre let's... Bishop has built up a big lead. Andre Bishop not looking as fresh as when this fight started. I think he's slowing a bit, Teddy. But the bad news, that's not the worst news. The bad news is if we can see it, his opponent can see it, he can take advantage of it. Good block by Andre Bishop. It's hard to believe that at this late stage of the fight, both men are able to give as much as they are given. This is how you find out where somebody is free. This is where you find out where somebody is special and does extraordinary things by pushing them to a difficult place. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. There's that overhand right. If the nine-time titleist, Joel Savone, is going to be a ten-time titleist, he's going to need to hit that gas pedal and score right now against Bishop. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. Throw it in there. I got more. No, throw them in there. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's what I like to see. You're out pointing him. And I want to see those hands move more. Nice round, Andre. Keep it up. Keep those hands busy. Yeah. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, counter. Does Andre Bishop have enough left to put this over the top? Final round, the fight is as close as could be. Savone's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. Joel Savone was a substantial favorite here against the young upstart Andre Bishop. But Bishop is in control and headed to victory. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Another flush shot up top. A minute to go in the fight. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. On the mark with the straight left hand. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Keep that head moving. Digging in with a left to the gut. Well up top. 
Joel Savone's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. He'd like to see more of that. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? A good, hard-fought, close decision victory for Andre Bishop, pulling the upset against Joel Savone at these World Amateur Games. It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter. Yeah, the game, baby. It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yes. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop. I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being. Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby Bishop. What? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions. Is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point, regardless. Both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Remember, stick and move. Stick and move. kid you got your father's power he certainly does his father hit like a heavyweight too <laughs> Gus <laughs> despite our differences I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business I don't care what you say about me Queen <laughs> always nice to see you Megan always nice to see you too Gus I'm bringing my daughter into the business you know how good she is with fighters I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. 
But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We have a big card for you tonight, and a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against right, the KG veteran, Lucius Palmer, from here Let's at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Stay with us for that. So round one is underway, Andre Bishop against Lucius Palmer. So many times we talk about the nerves that somebody making Stay a pro debut those. can on. be having. Don't expect that out of Andre Bishop, not with his amateur pedigree. Teddy, in your training career, when you've gone up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's gonna get knocked out. Stay away from that power. Blocks it away. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Andre Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Nice defense, good block by Andre Bishop. And here we go again as Lucius Palmer tries to steal this round against Andre Bishop. Firing off the uppercuts, great exchange. Well placed. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. That was an interesting first round for Andre Bishop, the American making his pro debut here. Teddy, Lucius Palmer's the kind of guy that could give a young up-and-comer like Bishop some issues. He likes to steal the end parts of a round, kind of like Ray Leonard did against Marvin Hagler. Has to be careful for that. As we start round two, you wonder if Andre Bishop has scouted Lucius Palmer, because if he did, then he was expecting what he got at the end of round number one, and that is a flurry by the veteran Palmer, just looking to steal the round, not working all three minutes. Palmer's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Oh, and a two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, I don't like the way he looks in terms of his condition. Uh, it looks like he's slowing down a little bit, and you gotta wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. 
Little head knocking with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Bishop's combination punching is... Look at that! Unable to handle that combination. He is down on the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. Big shot, and he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, and two, three, four, five. A knockout victory to start your career, as if the buzz isn't big enough for Andre Bishop. This will put fuel on that fire. He gets rid of Lucius Palmer. Impressive stuff. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. I said it before, kid. I don't believe in building a record fight for nobody. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateurs, no. You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. We're gonna take some fights against decent guys. And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm gonna be impressed. But if you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm gonna be disappointed. Got it, kid? I want to see these guys on the floor. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. Can Andre Bishop all right, keep fellas. all that momentum? Let's have a good good evening, fight. everybody. I'm Touch Joe Tessitore let's go. alongside Teddy Atlas. We're here to answer that question for you at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans, Louisiana. Coming off his pro debut win against Lucius Palmer, now Bishop moves forward against Mike Walker. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can the well-conditioned fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher isn't targeting? Well, move it. Get on his bicycle a little bit. Don't stay right in front. If that power puncher is the power puncher, that's his strength. But his weakness is he probably has to have you right in front. Give him angles. Able to get rid of that one. Bishop's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Very accurate with the overhand right. Halfway through this round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. How about 
about to return the sender with the left hand. Very nice defensive guard there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Looks to the head. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Landing a two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Let's give a very honest assessment as to where Andre Bishop is in his career right now. Facing a guy like he is tonight in Mike Walker, he should annihilate him. Yeah, he should, but it's not just about that. It's how he does it. He should go through him, but you want to see him go through him in an effective, efficient way where he looks like a future champion. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? We slip his punch, then throw a strength. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. What impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. Bishop's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Walker's doing well here with that two-punch combination. You can actually see how heavy Bishop is breathing right now. He's desperate to get some air into those lungs. He better close that mouth before he's desperate to get his jaw wide. Side to side. Trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. A flush hook scores well for him. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Nice work with the overhand right. And we come to the end of round number two. Slip his punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take these shots, okay? You understand me? Nice work. Nice work. He's feeling your punches, Trey. He feels the power. Starting to slow down with each punch. You gotta watch the Listen, water in the corner. Come I want to see some jabs and then the right. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Nice wrist one two combination by Wall. Oh, that uppercut got him battling. And just like that. Oh, that's got to hurt. He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young brothers out. It is raining punches here. One, two, three, four. Walker's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Very accurate two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Commits to the straight right. And you see
See, he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Walker's lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Nice strike after catching one by Mike Walker. Walker's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. At this point, Andre Bishop can just put it into cruise control. Yeah, they have that choice. They could go into the prevent defense and coast home, or they know the business, and Gus knows the business. They want to be an attraction. He could say, go out there and finish. Make people talk about you when they're leaving this arena. Do this, okay? Go! Final round here of what has been a night where Andre Bishop has been in total command of his opponent. You just don't want to slip on a banana peel now, or on a right hand. Back to the body. Hey, Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Walker's doing exactly what he's always done stylistically, Teddy. Now, he was knocked down earlier, so what he always does... Oh, and there you go. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going. At 2-0, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has ours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. for six. Rosario is very conscious of the fact that this is a golden opportunity in front of him. He knows he's a clear-cut underdog. He also knows what a win will do. A win will get him a step closer to what he's dreamed about since he was a little kid first putting those gloves on. The big paydays, maybe the nice house. Hey, him back. Big puncher here in front of us, going up against the guy who can do a little bit of everything. A boxer, puncher, well-skilled, good athlete, well-conditioned. Yeah, the big punch, I think, 
is going to be in trouble, especially as the fight goes late. He's going to get more and more desperate, and he's going to look for that one bomb. And usually when you know it's coming, you can avoid it. Rosario's jab lands well. He scores with the left. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land. Solid right hand lands. He's jumping all over him now. Rosario's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rock. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, he's got to beat the count of 10 here. the question becomes after that knockdown and he has gotten up how does he survive so one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits have good fundamentals been put there you're gonna find out right now he needs them right now rosario's cut is on the cheek and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now that's something we'll keep our eye on Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. That's a hook right to the flank. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Andre Bishop's trainer, Gus Carisi, was quite open this week in saying, hey, I want to see excitement out of my fighter. I want him to deliver something to the fans. Yeah, he's thinking the same way my mentor, Customato, used to think. That's why he invented the pick -boo style. You know, it was effective. You kept your hands up, your elbows in. But it was also exciting. It would elicit excitement from the crowd. And that's what he wanted, to make sure that he created somebody that wanted people to come see him. Rosario's got to find a way to survive and maybe even do more than that. He was knocked down in the last round. And here, you know, all eyes are on his status here to start this round. Well, Joe, don't put too much on his plate in this kind of situation. Right now, surviving would be enough. He can worry about winning later on. Takes one. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut. Solid. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Rosario's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. A headshot blocked. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. It's tough to assess, but Rosario's cut may look worse than it actually is. I mean, all the blood is spraying everywhere. Yeah, and I think that's exactly right. And you just wonder, and I know this isn't supposed to play in, but you wonder if the judges in close rounds, if they get influenced by that look. Good way to protect the midsection. He gets off with a combination up top. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's effort. Takes a step back, and the counter punch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but... Uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes... Rosario's clearly affected by that. Did you see that? Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. 
Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? One of the best-looking middleweight prospects in some time now takes a challenge in Atlantic City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Andre Bishop now 3-0, taking on the heavy-handed Keyshawn Hayes. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's gonna try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. You see the movement by Andre Bishop, and it's really paying off, able to avoid that left hook of Hayes. Good block there by Andre Bishop. Hayes is deep as cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it and are able to do it throughout the whole fight and go the distance. What's the mental makeup of a guy like that? Confidence. He's been there before. He's sure that he can do it. A little head hunting with the left. Let's see some more head movement, Jack. Come on. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Good step back counter punch there. What a huge power punch by Hayes. Hayes is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre. There it is. He turned over that hook and turned his man right down to the floor. Andre Bishop rises to his feet. But of course, Gus is experienced enough to know now when he gets back to the corner, there's a job to do. Not just dump cold water on him to revive him, but to tell him what he got hit with. Remove that fear a little bit from his mind that it will happen again. He can correct the mistake. Good block by Hayes. Come on, breathe deep. Inhale. You're fighting his game plan. Breathe. Breathe, all right? Just take a deep breath. I need to see the combinations from me. Now let's throw those combinations we talked about. This fight is real close, so let's see the one, twos, and threes. Andre Bishop's heading out there for this round. 
hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop and his opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test him out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head, or do you use your bicycle? Let's see some more head Andre Bishop, beautiful head movement. Good lateral movement, getting out of the way of that dangerous left hook of Hayes. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. And he ties up on the inside. Halfway through round number two. Hit the body, baby, body blow. about that left hand? Now hugging on the inside. And now he scores with that left to the body. Right to the head with that right. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Bishop's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. And the round comes to an end. You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. There you go. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, you got to count. Okay, deep breath now. We know this kid has dynamite. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. A little head hunting with the right. They shift is being smart on the outside. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Andre Bishop unable to get out of the way of that big hook by Hayes. Hayes is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Hayes. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Took a shot, now he gives a left. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Hayes. Decide to bring it. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Hayes is on the receiving end of a hook. That was a good round for Andre Bishop. He just went out there and controlled everything. And he did it fundamentally, too. He used the jab. He set up the body attack. He did it like a good, solid fighter.
Here we go with the fourth round. Bishop's got to be thrilled with what he was able to accomplish in the first half of this fight. And as we start this round, clearly he wants to keep things in the same order. Well, part of the testing of anybody being successful in anything, in boxing, in anything, is how do you handle prosperity? We're going to find that out right now. I know that sounds like a good problem to have, but... Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. And now he has to grab. He has to get in close and make sure that he kills some time. Andre Bishop's defense now dazzling as Hayes is having trouble landing that left hook. Bishop's a brawler, right, Teddy? Yeah, exactly. Is that the style that you think is going to carry him through? Because it's working out so far. Yeah, if he can keep it going this way, you know, he's going to be happy. He wants to keep his opponent in this kind of mindset. Right now, he's got his opponent angry. I know that sounds funny, but he wants to keep him angry because he's not thinking. He's fighting his fight. You know, I didn't think we'd be saying this about him, but Teddy, right now, stamina is a real question mark for Bishop. Yeah, and it's hard to understand how it would be because he's always been in shape before. You look at his body, it's not always an indicator, but it looks like he's in shape. You have to wonder if he assumed something and was a little overconfident in this fight. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. Oh, nice job by Andre Bishop there landing that jab. Overhand right can be so effective. Left hook, right hand, well done, especially to the body. Good, smart, tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the rope. And bang, and away he goes, and he crashes to the canvas once again. He's got number four. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five. Hayes is 60 seconds to recover. Hopefully will be enough for him. Now he's got good cornermen. He's got the right people in place to try to fix this situation. Yeah, and they got to work like a pit stop, you know, in the Indianapolis 500. One guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing the tires, you know, another guy's maybe giving the driver a little water. They got to do the same thing. Give him some water, refresh him a little bit, work his legs a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. Let's keep him up. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Tonight. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Hayes is thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, wow! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Four and oh, never looks so good. A knockout win, Andre Bishop over Keyshawn Hayes. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. 
And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not gonna be your night. everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois for a much anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop okay, guys. is a hot we went rising over the rules prospect. In the room. Will Let's Bishop shine in the spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this moment now have prepared him for this moment. Well, what do they say, Teddy? Something's got to stick? That combination was something. Well, you know what it was? The first couple punches were throwaway punches. Set up the later punches. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Teddy, if I put two fighters in front of you and said you can train, both these guys have equal talent, but you can train the lefty or you can train the righty, who would you pick? Well, usually the lefty has a little advantage because you haven't seen them too often. And that's always gonna be something that's gonna really serve them a little bit. But they might not have an advantage in the business end of it. A lot of guys won't fight Don't your fighter. And then what are you going to do? Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Watch that. Targeting the left hand to the body. Another flush shot lands upstairs. You need to keep that head moved. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Andre Bishop. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting... Round comes to an end here. Kid, the judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. McQueen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. Left hand scores well for him. Scored well with the hook. Cover up, Bishop cover landing up. a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. <gasps> Halfway through this round here. 
Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. That right hand over the top lands flush. And Bishop is stunned. He just, what a big shot. A good knifing punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Throwing that jet. You need to know. Take a deep breath. Relax. We got it. You don't need to mix it up. Don't fight his fight. Let's keep moving out there. Let's keep pumping the jet. Bishop's hope is for him to be steady on his feet and just survive at this point. Remember, that last round, he was down and nearly out. Well, his hope is that his corner revived him during that minute rest, and also they gave him good advice because the most important thing is don't let what happened the last round happen again. Correct what you did wrong. Nice block. Keep your head moving. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Keep now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Andre Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Good left there. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Come on, cover up. They're not focusing. Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? You see he comes over the top with that right hand. A real he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. You see the temperament of trainer Gus Carisi, very level-headed, veteran kind of trainer. I mean, some guys would be so excited coming off a round where they saw their fighter like Andre Bishop nearly floor an opponent. Not an experienced guy, not a pro. And Gus is a pro, he's experienced. You have to be calm, otherwise your fighter will not be calm. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay?
Teddy, I got to be honest with you. Based on what we saw in that last round, I didn't think we'd be broadcasting this round. I thought the fight would be over. It may be soon if his opponent can jump on him. But this could be his only chance. I don't think he can last much longer. Maybe this is the moment where you expect your opponent to come after you fast. Maybe you grit yourself, you plant your feet, you draw a line in the sand, so to speak, and you nail him coming in. Bishop's got a reputation as being a brawler. Right now, that style has got him in control of this fight in these middle rounds. Yeah, on. right now, it looks like this fight could be fought in a phone booth. That's exactly the way he likes it. Flush right hand to the head. Good one, too, by Andre Bishop. We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time, he found it, he saw it, he gave it. Big left hand. Bishops is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. He was stunned, now he's in control. Momentum so critical. And that's the thing about this boxing game. One second you're in control, the next second you're not. Comes right back at him with a left hand. well up top. This is not a good sign for Andre Bishop. It appears that he's slowing at this point. Yeah, what he needs to do is start placing the shot. Solid! That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Yeah! 11 and 0. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. Thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Everybody up! Cell block D, get up! Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Those crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one-on-one. -on -one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. Remember now, the professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. 
You got to knock this motherfucker out. I hear about you signing with D.L. McQueen. No way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you I to- I ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. Just like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head.
Motherfucker, this shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight, he ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go. I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax. Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. It was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight on your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well. Being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. 
Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the ring. I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to. Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks.
Wanna see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still wanna be your manager, Andre. How'd your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event of the evening. Six rounds of heavyweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Chavez is a clear-cut underdog. There's no denying that. He's in very tough tonight. This is a step up. Today's graduation day, Joe. Oh, and a big right hand lands. Antonio Chavez is trying to survive this. He is taking a beating right now. That one good shot came in and rocked him. And that's the problem with his defense right now. You know, he's trying to block those shots. You can't block two, three, four, five, six shots at a time. They get through. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Chavez's defense is it ever good. Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Brings the hook that time. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Well played, straight right hand. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. And he just holds on there. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. Chavez's defense is paying off now. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Hits him in the mug with the right. And we come to the end of round number one. Relax. Keep pressing. We got it. You're in control. You can do this, all right? All right. You got this. You got to go for the knockdown, Trey. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. Good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Now listen, you threw a white punch and he caught you. Tight.
Chavez is off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up. But he looks to be steady on his feet here. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Antonio Chavez is now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Accurate hook. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Nice strike after catching one by Antonio Chavez. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Chavez has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Scores up top with a left. Carries that punch away. Bishop's put forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three-punch combination score. And now he scores well with a straight right. Big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent felt it. That is a strong uppercut there. Chavez is buying himself some time. He was stunned earlier. Now another clinch. And he's diffusing himself right now by doing that clinching. And his opponent is taking advantage. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Three minutes gone by in this round. This is the body with some hooks. That will open up the headshot. Good, good, good. Good round, Andre. Just like that. I need another round just like that. Let's keep He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. A snapping hook by Andre Bishop. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. This is not a good sign for Andre Bishop. It appears that he's slowing at this point. Yeah, what he needs to do is start placing his shots a little bit. But right now, as you just alluded to, he's just not throwing. Blocks away that headshot. Chavez's huge right hand comes crashing home. Uncle, oh! Great combination. He is down on the mat. is back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body and then that right hand. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Andre Bishop. Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Chavez is in a tough spot right here. He's going to be swallowing blood. You can see blood coming from his mouth, and that could really cut his wind. What was there for him? What's there? Jab, jab, straight hook. Always finish with the hook, Dre. One, one, two, three. Okay? One, one, two, three. So with the 
start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. Good shot to the head with that right hand. You see him holding on. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any hard charging with that right hand. Big shot there. Teddy, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. Chavez is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Nice work with the combination by Andre Bishop. And yet another big shot comes in. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. One, two, three, four, five. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. The Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City is home to our boxing car tonight. And it's headlined by a heavyweight clash. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. This is just the second fight at right, heavyweight fellas. for let's the former middleweight fight. prospect, Touch the American Andre Bishop. Tonight, Bishop will face Raul Castillo. All right. So round one is underway between Bishop and Castillo. We'll give you something to look for, at least on the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for early on when you get a big puncher against a guy that really likes to take the fight to the inside? I think the big puncher, he's going to start drooling. His eyes are going to light up like he's seen a big juicy snake. Catch the guy as he's coming to you. Don't wait till he gets inside. You know he's coming in. Tee off on him. Way to block there. What impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Halfway through this round here. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Little head knocking with that right hand. Blocks the head shot. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Castillo. Scores with the combo to the head. Gets rid of that effort. That uppercut absolutely solid. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. Now he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. One, two, three, four, five. Castillo's now getting back up off the canvas. The other day when we were
were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of round one. Castillo's bounces back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Good block. Nice combo by Andre Bishop. Great movement to get away from those punches. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Well placed hook there. Protecting his head well with his guard. And once again, he returns fire up top. See how he targets that hook? Carries that punch intended for the head. Nice work on the combination by Andre Bishop. Bishop's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him showcase there his hand speed is very good yeah it is joe you know it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say just get off first that's what he's doing right now he's getting off first by sending more than one at him now the combo to the head very nice work to the head the right hand landed a solid uppercut by raul castillo Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. He's committed to How about that one? Did you see that? He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move, muévate. He's going to come in swinging. He thinks you're still hurt, and he's going to look to finish you off. And round number three is underway. Bishop's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing about it. He said it, but he might not be able to keep it up. Bishop's putting forth that part. There it is! Knocked down again! Unreal! Now, you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? One, two, three, four, five! So the heavyweight version of Andre Bishop is just as powerful as the middleweight version we used to know. A knockout victory now. He earns it over Raul Castillo. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. <sighs> Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. <laughs> Well, well, will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. 
You too, Gus. Step up, kid. This next guy is a legit top 20 heavyweight. Now, people still think that you can't hang with the big guys. They think that uh, you're just a blown up middleweight. I say, fuck them. People say that I'm just maybe a, a crazy old man. And if you think about it, maybe they're right. Maybe I am just a crazy old man. But you know something? It isn't what people think, Andre. In boxing, it's about what you know. What you know in your gut. What you know in your heart. And I know in my heart, <laughs> you got what it takes. And I know in your heart, you know you got what it takes. When you come right down to it, all that matters is heart. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Here's what you should be looking for here at the start of round number two. How much is Andre Bishop using that right hand? Because it appeared that he severely injured it, if not broke it there in that first round. Well, one of the things he has to do, Joe, is make sure that nobody other than us knows that he hurt that hand. He's got to go out there and not show his opponent that that's bothering him. Use the left hand, maybe every once in a while, fake like you're going to throw the right hand so your opponent doesn't know, doesn't take advantage of that fact. Just look at Andre Bishop now. He's throwing many left hands, very few right hands, and that gives us some confirmation that that right hand was indeed injured in that first round. That's a momentum changer upstairs. Good job with another left hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. Johnson's left, landing well. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. There's another left hand from him. I like that step back right there. Just enough One, two, to be out of danger, move. but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. That's where you want to be. You count down the final moments of this round. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. Well, if Bishop can string together a few rounds like that, this is going to be a very easy fight for him. Well, it looks like a confident fighter. All that amateur background is really showing. You got the range. You got to work. Work we your range, okay? You're in control, Andre. You're in control. Oh, Beautiful. Nice movement out 
And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. And look at how well Bishop is scoring with that left. Solid hook. And he's holding. And now another left. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Meldrick Johnson. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Solid hook upstairs. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Andre Bishop. Move! Move! Good left hand by Andre Bishop. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Body shot, left hand. Johnson's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. Teddy, I'll tell you what I like out of that round from Andre Bishop. It's a building block. He has a lot to look forward to the rest of this fight now. Yeah, it's confidence. It gives him a little momentum. And it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he can do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you, you know that. know what I need you to do? I need you to relax. I need you to, I need you to relax. Just... Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Bishop's doing really well on the outside. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Get in there. Who's the ring? Who's the ring? Bishop could really use a pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up a little bit. Scores up top with a left. Bishop's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. As a matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change. Downstairs to the place that's not moving. Down to the body. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. And now another left. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Johnson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Don't get him! And round four comes to an end. Okay, visit the body with some hooks, and that'll open up the head shots. Hook downstairs, then upstairs. Up and down, all right? Come on. All right. Listen, you need to create more... That was your round, Andre. 
kill winning this fight. We got it. You won that round. You got this. You right. gotta keep oh, chopping, one. Drake. That's keep chopping. You don't need that. I'm gonna throw that away. We showed you the video evidence earlier where we saw the replay of Andre Bishop injuring that right hand. The word we're getting ringside is that that injury dates back a bit, and it may be the cause of all his problems. They say he injured that right hand while he was in jail. That is a sharp uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Keep moving. Keep moving. Doubles up the jab. Bishop's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Meldrick Johnson showing good form with that right hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. That's a good sharp hook by Andre Bishop. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. You need to keep that head moving. Keep it up, just like that. Usually. Hey, it's obvious that he's a one-handed fighter, but I'll tell you, Andre Bishop is having continued success just with that left. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Andre Bishop. That's nice work by Bishop there, landing the left hand. He returns the favor with an uppercut. See the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, Let's except right going. now I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Bishop's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. <laughs> Halfway through round six. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Meldrick Johnson. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. Johnson's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Here's what so many like about Andre Bishop, the ability to block and attack. Right to the head with that right. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. He comes back with the left hand again. You gotta breathe. It has been a very breathe. consistent Relax. night. By Andre Bishop. Day? He has built up a lead fight, right? on the scorecards not and nothing He's but beaten. good praise coming from trainer throw, Gus Carissi. And he has such a cushion. Don't be shocked. It happens in this business, believe me. If his trainer doesn't tell him, you know what? Work with him a little bit. Don't get careless, but work on things. Carry him a little bit. Get some rounds. You got to keep working, Andre. Keep working. Give it all you got. Okay? 
Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. See, that's what the corner should do for Andre Bishop. You send him out there as a fresher, better fighter. He looks fine here to start this round. He comes with the straight right hand. And now another left. Good biting, snapping shot by Johnson. Johnson's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that Shaking off. coming back right away. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Come on. At the halfway point of round seven. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Solid right by Johnson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Move your head! Good job with another left hand. That's okay, let's go! Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. Well, what more can Gus Carisi really tell him to do? Just keep what you've been doing. He is dominating this fight. He's got to be way up on the scorecards, Teddy. Oh, he definitely is. And what you want to do now is maybe test the waters what kind of finish you are. Maybe. Not get reckless, but show that you can finish. You have to knock him out. I mean, it's the only way now. Let your hands go. Let him go. You just look at Andre Bishop's opponent, and you can almost see it in his face that he feels he has no chance. Nice. Bishop has nice. dominated all night long as we're here in this final round. Now it's up to Bishop. He's got one more decision to make. Does he want to just go out on the stage and take his bows afterward, or does he want to bring the curtain down? Does he want to go after it? Good defense, just covering up down low. Bishop parries a punch, sends a punch. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Andre Bishop. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Decide to trade there. Last minute of this last round. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Not much action as he just ties up. One, two, keep moving. Gotta see if he's coming. There's another left hand from him. Last 10 seconds of the fight. He pushes. And we send it up to the ring at the end of this fight to hear what the judges had to say. Bishop's dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision, a unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. It was an easy one to score. I mean, he did it fundamentally well. It wasn't just with talent. He did it with the jab. He did it with control and range, going to the body. Great night. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Isaac, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? 
I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? Is this your first show? Challenge. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. Bishop's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. Stewart's on his way to the ring. And you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. We welcome Remember, you to Boardwalk Doug, Hall we'll here in Atlantic at City time. for a heavyweight Let's fight have a good, clean between fight. the comeback kid Andre Bishop and Reggie Stewart. This is the first fight since Bishop injured his right hand against Meldrick Johnson. In talking to trainer Gus Carisi in the lead up to this fight, he said, no worries at all. Bishop's right hand is just fine. Well, if there were worries, he wouldn't let us know about it, but there should be no worries because they had plenty of time to rehab the hand and plenty of time to test it out in the gym, do sparring, do bad work, should be fine. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. No I hope Reggie inside Stewart inside didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Stewart's jab has to be first and foremost on his to-do list, isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, I would say so. You ever see that commercial where the guy says, how do you spell relief? Sure. Well, it's kind of like, how do you spell victory in this fight? J-A-B. That's exactly the way you go. That's what he wants. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Reggie Stewart. Showing you some defense there with the block. Well placed, jab straight. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Let's go. Let's go. This fight is too close. You hear me? Too close. We don't want this to go. Here we go, round two is underway. See Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Stewart's cracked by a right hand. Blocks away that headshot. Scored well with that straight left. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Stewart. 
For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. You need to keep that head moving. Step back, then the counter punch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good work. Bishop's right hand scores well that time with a straight left. Left to the body. Good right hand. Nice work on the outside. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. We need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Now, make him pay for his misses. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. Relax. Relax. That's exactly what I want to see. Let's keep that up. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now, is nothing was coming at him, he was winning too easily, and for a minute he let up, and bang. There is something called a will to win. Andre Bishop has it. He's gonna find a way to overcome the damage that was done. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop, and another, that's a good sign. Andre Bishop's almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what he is. Reggie Stewart's rock! Oh, that's gotta hurt! A non-stop swarming attack puts him down. His opponent feels like he's in a rainstorm. impressive all week long everybody was talking about the injury to the right hand of Andre Bishop he just knocked out Reggie Stewart with that right hand Isaac which Bishop brother hits harder which Bishop brother hits harder that's your question I get these people well neither one of them can punch like me I can guarantee you that but between the two of them, well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now, I and mean, he was a genuine contender. But the big baby, well, the big baby has always been a pretender. Thomas and Max Center here in Las Vegas. We present heavyweight action. Joe Tessitor and Teddy Atlas with you as Andre Bishop looks to stay perfect as he faces Dwight Cooper. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Round number one between Bishop and Cooper. That's a big striking blow to the head by Cooper. And a cut has opened up over Andre Bishop's right eye. In a way, it's a little bit of a warning, Joe, of things to come. Now you have to be a little bit more cautious, a little more alert. Go, go, go. 
Cooper trying to get away from Bishop's attack. Teddy, you see that cut right there? When you're in a spot like that, do you tell your charge, hey, go after it, worsen that cut? No, actually, I don't, because obviously he did something right to open it up to begin with. Just keep doing those things right, setting it up. If you look for only that, you forget the things that got you there. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. So, Teddy, here we have a power puncher against a fast and speedy fighter. What are some of the first things you look for in a matchup like this? Well, I'm looking for the fast guy to stay on the outside. When there's distance, you can use that speed. You don't want to be cramped where the other fighter can use his power. Cooper's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Bishop's taking more and more punishment as this round continues. This fight could be over soon. And you just know the referee's taking a real close look at it right now. If it doesn't turn around this round, I think this will be the last. Bishop snapping that jab. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Wow, is he defensively sound. Dwight Cooper's left hook landed the most damaging blow of this fight. And the blood above Andre Bishop's right eye is becoming much more substantial. That's a bad cut. Now the corner has to do their work. But the fighter, I usually don't say this, but he has to go out there and not worry about winning this round so much. He has to worry about defense. Don't get touched on that cut anymore. Give the work that the corner man did a chance to get the job done. Get that medicine into the cut. Start of round number two, and you know Dwight Cooper is going to be... Bishop's taking a lot of punishment. Maybe too much punishment for an experienced referee like the one we have in there today to just keep on watching. Yeah, you would expect him to be ready to do his job. Sometimes the job is to keep them fighting, you know, to make sure they break. Sometimes it's to stop the fight. I think it's that time now. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Cooper's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Worth the punch. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Good jab by Cooper. Very good, steady double jab there. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Now hugging on the inside. Halfway through round number two. Oh, that's a big hook right there. Combination to the head. Keep your head moving. See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You got to keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. Now, that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight to beat the bigger man. Move your head. Inside, inside. Scores with the combo to the head. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Andre Bishop needs to be so careful right now that the ref doesn't stop that fight because Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. Teddy, I'll tell you what I like out of that round from Andre Bishop. It's a building block. He has a lot to look forward to the rest of this fight now. Yeah, it's confidence. It gives him a little momentum. And it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he can do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. Gotta move your head. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Blocks the headshot. Bang the body. Punch. Jump on. Nice. 
That's a fierce offensive attack with the double uppercuts by Andre Bishop. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Cooper's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Credit to Dwight Cooper. To he punch. has gone on the attack against that cut over the eye of Andre Bishop. He's trying to earn himself a TKO victory here. Protecting his head well with his guard. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Parries that punch intended for the head. Let's go! Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination, but uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is, and what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. Bishop went out there in that last round and just executed his game plan beautifully. He won it with ease. Yeah, he not only has skills, see, that's what I like about him. We have a lot of guys that have speed, they have power, but he fundamentally puts it together. Are you going to let your hands go? You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Listen. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One go. of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. And now a well-placed hook to the head. Keep your hands up. Great combination from Bishop. Cooper's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Watch the hook! This is a real concern now for Andre Bishop as Dwight Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. He could get a TKO victory here if that continues. Good one-two from Bishop. He landed that right hand flush against Cooper. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. And he just holds on left there. And right, left and right. Good job on that uppercut by Andre Bishop. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Head and body, head and body. Scored well up top. Don't let him get to you. Last 10 seconds. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. All right. You want this fight? Because listen to me, man. You, if you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches. And we are back underway, another round Throw in a fight in that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Cooper's able to land a nice, clean left hand.
Keep moving. Keep you know, moving. I didn't think we'd be saying this about him, but Teddy, right now, stamina is a real question mark for Bishop. Yeah, and it's hard to understand how it would be because he's always been in shape before. You look at his body, it's not always an indicator, but it looks like he's in shape. You have to wonder if he assumed something and was a little overconfident in this fight. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Cooper's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Well timed by Andre Bishop. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Unbelievable work there, landing a four-punch combo. Keep that head move. A headshot blocked. Fine-looking right hand by Andre Bishop. Well, if Bishop can string together a few rounds like that, this is going to be a very easy fight for him. Well, he looks like a confident fighter. All that amateur background is really showing. Wait for the opening, okay? The start of the sixth round. Bishop's out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Cooper's on the receiving end of a hook. Cooper's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. Scores big with the hook. Just ate a big uppercut. He, oh, and there you go. He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Cut over the eye may have been a big wake-up call for Andre Bishop. A knockout victory over Dwight Cooper. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top ten. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are, but we really need this fight. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. This should be a very interesting one tonight. Ten-round heavyweight fight between eighth-ranked Kobe Nichols and the upstart, the comebacking Andre Bishop. Well, back in the 1900s, the early 1900s, the 1920s, the 1930s, all those great fighters, they used to move up in weight, from lightweight to middleweight to heavyweight, and they used to beat bigger guys. Why? They were faster. They were smarter. Bishop gets a chance to show that he's one of those guys. Nichols is coming to the ring right now. We know what he offers up once he's inside the ropes but not much intensity here in this ring walk. So we are underway between Andre Bishop and Kobe Nichols as Bishop looking to carry that unbeaten streak forward here. Ooh. 
Little head knocking with that right hand. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power yeah! clean, that's the kind of officious refereeing that can cost a fighter a bout. The ref is saying that was a low blow and taking a point away from Andre Bishop. Hey, keep your hands up! Watch the low blow. Punch is high. Yeah. Keep it clean, Something's guys. Something's wrong here. The referee is now deducting a second point for Andre Bishop for a low blow with what looked to be a perfectly fine body shot. You know, Andre Bishop is such a good body puncher, but now he refuses to even stray low because of the point deductions. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. That's a good fight. job by Bishop Don't offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Go, go. A good block. That's an intense jab right there by Andre Bishop. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Three minutes gone by. The shots were low, Gus. I know, kid, I know. McQueen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition for giving me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out. Okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs, you got it? I got it. Stay upstairs. Here we go. Round two is underway. Keep it clean now. the overhand right and you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand good block by Andre Keep Bishop that, that time move. you'd like to see more of that that's nice work by Bishop there landing the left hand What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. A flush hook scores well for him. Super two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Nichols. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. A solid uppercut by Kobe Nichols. Right on the mark with the hook up top. So the big story of the night and has greatly shaped this fight. The low blow point deductions, which what appeared to be poor refereeing early on against Andre Bishop, 
He's tried to go upstairs to the head, but he hasn't found his target. He's out of sorts tonight against Kobe Nichols. This fight is close. It's really close. Let those hands go. Let them go. This is the time we need to outpunch this guy. And round number three is underway. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. An accurate left by Andre Bishop. They both decide to bring it. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Nichols is giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. You gotta protect yourself! A stinging uppercut by Andre Bishop. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in... Oh! He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. One, two, three, four, five. Nichols is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? He well, better know high. what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No. The bicycle's not there, you got flat tires. What you gotta do is grab on the inside, clear your head. That's it, that's it. Andre Bishop better be careful here of a disqualification. Listen, that was another clean body shot, but we've already seen the way this ref officiates. Now, earlier tonight, we saw the point deductions go against Andre Bishop with what appeared to be perfectly clean body shots that were called low blows. Since then, Bishop has had success going to the head. Can he continue on that way and somehow pull out a victory? Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, Good make him job. pay. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. What a destructive hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Good. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. Nice oh, and he's got work. something nice for him himself, and it's Come a left on. hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Oh, good exchange there. Oh, now Bishop, huge right hand comes crashing home. And now another left. Big shot there. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Hey, you got to see that coming. Let's go.
once again, the story of this fight, and it happened early on, was the referee deducting points for Andre Bishop for what were clearly clean body shots. Since that point, Bishop has gone extensively to the head of Kobe Nichols. Now, he could still set up a knockout victory, maybe even a TKO, but the concern is, could he be DQ'd or possibly lose a decision based on those points being deducted? Start of a new round, but will it be much the same? Nichols has been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Bishop's got speed. No Nichols has been hurt by that. And yet another big shot comes in. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Ray Bishop was reticent to put forth a body attack all night long, but still, he earns the knockout against Kobe Nichols. Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother, but I remind you, this meeting was not my idea. It was Raymond's. I need this fight, Dre. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to... As my brother, you owe me the chance to prove myself. like a son to me. That's why part of me keeps wondering how the hell did we get to this place? It's not gonna do us any good to worry about it, is it? I mean, we're here. Raymond isn't worried. Raymond's wanted this opportunity his entire life, since the two of you were kids. He's bigger than you, but he wants to shine brighter than you. He wants to get out from under your shadow. So he's gonna fight like hell. He's got something to prove to the world, to himself. You've got to give this 100 percent. You're not gonna be doing Raymond or yourself any favors by taking it easy on him, or by looking for a way out. You gotta give it 100 percent. All right, Kenny, back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. The MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, site to one of the most unique fights that we've ever brought you. Brother against brother, estranged and at odds, now against each other. As the older brother, Andre Bishop, takes on his heavyweight contending younger brother, Raymond Bishop, in an eliminator fight. For the winner, a chance for the world champion and a date with Isaac Frost. Teddy, size this up for me. Well, Joe, it's not easy. Not only do you have to deal with blood, fighting your own blood, you have to deal with controlling your emotions, but you have to deal with the fact that both these fighters, both these brothers, know each other so well. They've sparred together. 
They've hung out together. They've been in the gym since they were kids. They know all the tendencies of each other. It's going to be like looking in the mirror. Only thing, this time you look in the mirror, you might not like what you're seeing. All right, fellas. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. I want to see that. This isn't their backyard. This isn't a pillow fight. This is brother versus brother for all the marbles. A chance to fight for the keep heavyweight keep championship going. of the world. Round number one underway. Keep going. Get out of the way from those punches, man. Move your head. Big right hand there. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. How about a return to sender with the left hand? That's exactly what he wanted to do, backing him up against the ropes. Bishop's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Look at right hand after he got hit. What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there. I mean, let's pick it up, okay? He might be a little brother. He's got a big punch. And he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Andre Bishop's fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. Move your head. You gotta protect yourself. Let's see if Bishop can survive this. He just took a big... Oh! And that shot puts Andre Bishop down. One. Knock you out, big brother. <laughs> Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend as Raymond knocks out his older brother, Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion, Isaac Frost. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. As the title challenger, Raymond Bishop, takes on the ultimate intimidator, the world champion, Isaac Frost. Teddy, Frost is what he is, pure power and pure violence. But there's hope for Bishop, and there's history for Bishop. All he has to do is look back at some of the fights in the history of this sport. Look back at Liston and Ali, Sonny Liston, was every bit as intimidating as Ford. He was the one who originated 
the term intimidator in this sport. And Bishop has to do what Ali did. Stay away. Be faster. Be smarter. Be the winner. Frost ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars. But yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. The heavyweight championship of the world is underway. Round one between Isaac Frost and Raymond Bishop. Come on, get focused. Crashing home. Maybe Bishop gets floored right there. Raymond Bishop went down from a power punch. His opponent just outgunned him. One, two, three, four. Baby Bishop, two. Raymond Bishop trying to get up and continue on. So this is a whole new ball game for Baby Bishop here. Raymond is getting a serious dose of aggression from the champ, Isaac Frost. The big burly heavyweight. situation has developed Ray. here. The paramedics Ray, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, sir. Please, sir. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you, let, let me do this. Listen, I'm not gonna cry every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself help. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. 
Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. That we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce TL McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. to Las Vegas, where the heavyweight championship of the world is on the line. Isaac Frost looks to defend his title against Andre Bishop. Frost had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, Andre Bishop! And fighting out of the red corner, the reigning, defending heavyweight champion of the world, Andre Frost! Okay, this is good. This is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That's a little Raymond, though. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a friggin' animal. You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. intimidating heavyweight champion Isaac Frost and Andre Bishop. His brother Raymond didn't survive that first round. How will Andre fare? isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power, and he's not afraid to showcase it. Yeah, but that's not all that this business is about. My mentor, Customato, used to say, hey, you know, power is just part of it. It's kind of like having a military weapon. You know, you still need a missile to get it there. Alone, all it does is make a hole in the ground. Otherwise, it has no real use. You have to have a way to get it to the target. Let's see if he has that way. 
Nice! The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big corners. Bishop's and doing a thing. He's just standing there. What in the world is he doing? Well, what he's doing is he's telling you, I'm not confident. I'm not sure of myself. I don't know what to do. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Flush right hand to the body. Come on. When the dangerous power punching world champion Isaac Frost fought Raymond Bishop, Andre's younger brother, he had damaged him at this point of the fight. Not the case tonight as Andre is playing it safe. Well, I think what the case is tonight is Bishop learned from the mistakes of his younger brother. He's not making those mistakes. He's not standing in front of the bigger force too long. He's controlling his ego. He's keeping it all about business. You are the champ. Remember that. You are the champ. He wants your belt, and you're not going to give it to him, right? You're the champ. Shut it. Something about Isaac Frost. He just knows how to get after it early on. The good news for Andre Bishop is he's... Wow, a big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. The only good thing is he's been here before. With all that amateur experience, he has been hurt before. Wow! Down goes Bishop! Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. Well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control that right now. Right now, he has to think about defense. Big Isaac Frost lands the hook that time. Frost is so dangerous with punches like that. And now he scores well with a straight right. Good block by Andre Bishop. Halfway through this round. walking stick Isaac Frost handling his opponent with the jab just 10 seconds to go here in the second round see Andre Bishop that training really paid off just back to basics with him and we come to the end of good work kid beautiful work like we talked about he's slowing down a bit so let's help him out a little what do you say I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Bishop's coming off of a round where he was just dropped. Now he's got to go back out there. What's the mentality, Teddy? Well, right now, what he's got to do is buy some time. I think you got to be one of those time buyers. You know, you go out there and you say, you know, I want to be able to get, you know, a little bit of space here. You want to grab. You want to move. Anything. You can't worry about winning this round. That's gone all right. Survive the round. Get your head clear. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. 
You know, sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt. And now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. Well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Frost. I don't know if Bishop saw this opening or if his trainer told him to go after it, but the body of Isaac Frost is right now an inviting target, and Bishop has taken advantage of it. Move, champ, stick and move. Bishop is hurt. Oh, Bishop took some serious damage right there. Now you got to wonder whether or not he knows how to survive. That was not the kind of performance that trainer Gus Carisi wanted to see in that last round. Bishop got tagged and got tagged hard. What do you expect in these next three minutes? Well, Gus knows that 75% of his game is fight. mental. He doesn't want the opponent ball. to have an edge. So he's going to tell him, keep hop up off that stool, man. get out keep there like you're looking to get man. after him, but then slow it down a little bit, just so your opponent doesn't think that there's still some effects. Bishop's corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape and it's paying dividends right now. Where's the body? A little volume punching to the body there. Able to block that away and was targeted for his head. Chopping a little wood with that hook. Scored well with the left downstairs. Let's go, the Andre Bishop's putting forth a great combination there. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Andre Bishop. Halfway through round number four. There's the combo downstairs. You know, Isaac Frost still has the look of a guy who's controlling this fight. But what we're seeing out of Andre Bishop right now is he's having some success going to the body. Well, there's a reason for it. It's not by accident. You know, he understands that Frost is a bigger, stronger guy. So he wants to make him a little weaker. Take some of that strength away from him. Go downstairs. Deflate him a little bit. Take away this guy's power, Okay? I want to see three, four... Round number five has arrived. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Right to the body. Let's see some defense. 
Do that again! Watch the fun. Come on, champ! Don't let him tap the body! Bang the body! Protect yourself! And all of a sudden, now, the first scream of blood on Andre Bishop. His eye has a cut just above it. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Not too close, not too close. Bishop is getting into a real groove here. It's as if he's painted... as Isaac Frost was able to land that hook. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Able to cover up that gut. How about it, Gus? Oh, it ain't pretty, but we can handle it. Gotta give us some time, Dre. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Mm. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. Andre Bishop now a little more defensive minded with that cut above the eye. He's trying to protect it, trying to make sure the big champ, the heavy hitting Isaac Frost can't get to it. Just like that, just like that. has come this far, nice and he work. survived nice against the intimidating Keep Isaac Frost. But he may lose this title fight Keep based on a TKO control. stoppage. Don't that cut over his eye room, may Larry. threaten his immediate future. And what it might do immediately right now in the ring is make him start taking chances, make him gamble a little bit where he wouldn't have with the bigger guy. Listen, Trey, you can't let them stop the fight, right? We don't want that. You don't want that. You know, we worked too hard for this fight to be stopped now. You understand? Now let's keep it. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. 
Isaac Frost's dominance in the first half of this fight was pronounced. Now, as this round begins, a new task for him. Finish up the second half of this fight just as strong. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. His enemy is not only the guy in front of him, but it's being that he's got such a lead. You know, his enemy is having such great success so far. Does it get him a little bit into a lull? If he gets into a lull now, he could blow that first half of the fight when he's done so well. Andre Bishop is hoping for a late rally here, but it doesn't look like Frost is going to give way anytime soon. Instead, it is Frost still being an impenetrable force. Andre Bishop searching for answers. Halfway through the seventh round. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. That was a fine block by Andre Bishop. Where's the jab at, jab? That's it, just like that, just like that. Oh, I like it. Nice work, champ. Just like that. Back to the head. Champ, back to the head. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And once again, he returns fire up top. Hey, quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know, that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah, still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power, and you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker, and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, Gus. shot upstairs. One, two jabs. On, what show. guts by Andre Bishop to survive that and now to move on. You got it, Sheriff. Come on, now. keep it up. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Fires right back at him. Right hand over the top, very accurate with him. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. Isaac Frost doing well here with that two-punch combination. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Finish this, champ. Fucking finish this. Let's go. Bishop's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Bishop lands another combination. Teddy Frost with the fire. Frost has never been in this situation before. You know, he's always... Big flush shot. And Frost 
Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to, Mr. D. But you might have some problems running things from the pen. Hey. We had a deal. You gave me your word. She didn't give you my word. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better...